one of the things that uh, that we've been able to see this year, which I know you 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 know this information as well, is that as the weeks have progressed in the Super 14 competition, we've gradually seen that the penalties have gone in favour of the attacking team. In the beginning of the year, it was nearly as much as 90% of the penalties were going in favour of the uh, if, of favour of the team that had the ball in in possession. In other words, the attacking team. And I see as the weeks have progressed. We're now in week seven of the Super 14, and I see it's only it's down to about 74% at the moment, which is probably where it should be on, on the balance of probability. Yeah, I think I think um, what we've been asked to do, you're probably right in terms of the statistics, um, but what we've been asked to do is to keep our foot on the pedal actually and not let up. And so I think you may find that it's it may sort of head towards 80 again, okay. because um, there has been there have been occasions where. Um, our managers have felt that we're still a little bit um, lenient and we still need to go hard on the uh, defenders trying to spoil or trying to use illegal means. Right. Um, and, and of course, negative play. Yeah. So I, I, think, I think the profile we want is, is a balanced profile. You know, a referee must have a balanced profile, but at the same time must be quite um, firm in his approach on what we were speaking about earlier on those clips on the defender who needs to release first and then go back. In the game now, with the, with the change in law, or not the change in law, but the new interpretation and what you guys have been asked to look at, are you finding it a more, I know you're very in favour of the, of the law changes, yeah. are you finding it a more attractive game to referee? Yes. Okay. It's a more attractive game. It, it takes a little bit, you know, there is an adjustment on the, it's not just the players and coaches, there's an adjustment on the part of the referees as well. And so obviously there's some habits that you, you know, you, thought processes that you got used to in the past which need to change and that's why you know you're still going to find a couple of errors here and there but by and large I think it's been well refereed um, there's been the odd aberration here and there but I think it's been well refereed we've seen some bloody like quite a, quite a few decent games yeah we have um, you know good um, tries have been set up it's not so it doesn't come from a mistake by the opposition you've actually been able to construct execute, and, and execute and, and correctly construct a move as well. yeah. the Springboks get together in, in June and We've got to play Wales and France and Italy. Yeah. Um, how different will it be with interpretation? Is the RB ruling to ref read the game exactly the same way throughout the whole planet, or are we almost in an experimental stage in the in the Southern Hemisphere? No, not at all. This is a this comes from the RB. Um, to the best of my knowledge, um, the Northern Hemisphere are equally in favour of it. I mean, okay. obviously. It doesn't matter which hemisphere you come from, there's dissenting voices uh, wherever you go. I mean, it doesn't really matter. But, I, th I mean, to the best of my knowledge, and I've spoken to quite a few people, I've been up there for a couple of games recently, um, they're right behind the new law changes, as long as, obviously, they just want to apply it consistently across the board. Sure. So you guys, uh, it doesn't matter which teams you're playing against or which referees you have, um, you know, these these people will have been exposed to it and will, will have been reffing exa exactly the same as the Southern Hemisphere. Okay, so last weekend you did Ireland, Scotland. You didn't referee it in any different way no. to the way you were refereeing the Super 14 game no. the week before. No, and I found the, I found the coaching staff and uh, players equally compliant and with the same positive attitude. Well, that's fantastic. So, yeah. I mean, if we can see more of an attacking-based game around the world, I think it would be good for the game. Yeah, totally. Okay. Yeah. John, thanks very much for joining us. Okay. Appreciate cool. your time. And uh, hopefully we'll catch up with you again soon. Cool. Cheers, everybody. Thank you very much for joining us.